everybody. It's Edith Mary here. I have uh, reorganized. Even before Mercury went retrograde, I was reorganizing my life. I was reorganizing my house. I was doing, you know, toothbrush cleaning down at the baseboards and just reorganizing everything, getting rid of a lot of excess stuff that I had, getting rid of seven copies of this and, and uh, gee, I've got ten of these paintbrushes, hmm, those kinds of things. And I was at the same time reorganizing my business. Uh, not only my art business, but my tarot business as well, because to me they're the same thing because they require that same connection with spirit to get in touch with that intuitive side and that creative side that you uh, need in order to do both, to be highly creative and to do tarot. It all comes from the same source. So I'm reorganizing my business, and I am starting a Patron page for the artwork, um, and check out my Patron page. I'll put a link in somewhere uh, for the Patron page uh, and consider supporting that artwork because I do have this this little dream. Well, it's not so little. I want to open up a gallery space where people can come do classes, put their art up for sale, sell other stuff, sell some books, sell some crystals, sell some jewelry, especially uh, handmade jewelry. Uh, or handcrafted jewelry. So, I mean, I have lots of plans, but I can't do it going along the way I have been going along. So, not only do I need the financial support, which is why I opened up the Patron page, I'm also reorganizing the way I do things. So, for the Tarot part, I will be posting one card a day as often as I can. Sometimes I get tired. Sometimes I get hung up. Sometimes, I'm sorry, I just plain forget. But I'll be posting one card per day and then a three card reading for the theme of the week. Uh, which actually I think is going to work a lot better than trying to do a three card reading as a theme for the day. Because sometimes those three card spreads encompass a longer period of time than 24 hours. So that's, that's why I've been rethinking and redoing me <laughs> and everything concerning me. Um, so... Look forward to that, and if you want to take any of my classes, whether it be the art class or whether it be the uh, a tarot class, I welcome uh, all of my students um, in anything that I do. You're always welcome. I also, uh, particularly with the art classes, sometimes I run out of private. I get my ideas. It's not that I run out of ideas. I've got plenty of ideas, but I want the students to be more involved. So I let the students pick the next project, and that always challenges me to be a better artist and to stretch my comfort zone, my art comfort zone. So if you have an idea, please feel free to let me know of what you would like to see me paint next. Because I always do, once I get the painting down, I always do a, a, video, a YouTube video on, tutorial on it as well. And at some point in the near-ish future, I'll be doing live Google Hangout tutorials. So look forward to that too. But you've got to obviously like, subscribe, share, the whole nine yards. Because the more people I have, the easier it's going to be for me to do. Um, simply because I have a slow boredom threshold. And if there aren't enough people to talk to or respond back to me, I'm like, Pete, I'm out of here. Because it just, you know, it, it's... The more people you have, the more response you have, the more energy you have. And that feeds an artist. Artists, we feed off that kind of stuff. So feel free while I'm reorganizing everything and manifesting, making plans and manifesting things uh, for my life and my careers and my business. Um, be a part of that. Be a part of that process. Ask me questions. Give me ideas. Give me uh, things to do. Um, tell me what you want to know in art. Tell me what you want to know about specific cards. And we'll see what we can't do. Or specific card combinations. There's so much with Tarot. It, uh, it is a truly a lifetime of study and you'll never get it all in, even in that lifetime. So just consider all that uh, and being a part of my life and my business in that way. I welcome all ideas, suggestions, 
good ones, not uh, why do you bother doing this kind of thing, or you're not talented kind of thing, or, you know, that, that obviously I don't want those kinds of uh, suggestions and comments. I don't entertain negativity in any form. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> As Harvey's asking for my attention. So that's probably the meowing that you hear. So, having said all that, thank you so much for uh, listening. Uh, check out my Patron page. I also have an online store on my website. I'll put that link in as well. And feel free to, you know, look around. I will at some point be adding more products, like T-shirts with artwork and doodles on them. Sorry, you couldn't see that. T-shirts with artwork and doodles on them. Uh, handbags or tote bags or something like that. In the future, I'll be adding those. I'm working on um, a tarot book called Tarot for the Curious and Clueless, which is the name of all the classes that I hold each the first Thursday of each month. I am working on um, republishing the new revised version of a uh, poetry book. That'll be out very shortly. Um, um, I can't, I know there was something else and I just, it's, it's gone from my brain. It's late and I'm tired. So again, thank you. That's a lot of stuff I'm working on and I appreciate your time and attention and suggestions and comments. Thanks so much. You have a great evening. Bye-bye.